There are millions and millions of blogs out there, but majority of them are not successful because they are not following the formula that I'll be showing you in today's video. Okay, so let's start with the first thing here. So the first thing is choosing a niche. Now, it's important for you to choose a niche because you want your blog to be associated with something very specific. Let's say, for example, you're creating uh, articles, videos, or podcasts around fitness for the above 40s. So when people come to your website, they're expecting one thing, and that is how to be fit over 40s. So it's very, very important that you choose a niche because this is what a lot of websites or a lot of blogs get wrong right from the get-go. All right, so let's move on to the next thing. Now, once you've selected your niche, you want to choose a domain name. Now here you can choose a domain name, which is even your own name. It doesn't really matter. Or it can be a name which associates with your niche. All right, so moving Moving on, let's talk about the hosting. So this is an area which is very important and you need to get it right from the get go. So there are a lot of companies out there that recommend hosting, but in my research, I've come up with two companies and that is SiteGround and Flywheel. One is self-hosted and the other type of hosting is managed hosting. So there are differences between these two. Managed hosting is a bit more expensive because they do quite a lot of things in-house. For example, they take care of your security. It's much faster and also they do uh, the caching of the website, making sure that it's um, it's really fast and also the support is good. Now, when it comes to self-hosted, this is where now you have to add in your own plugins to make sure that your, web, your WordPress website is optimized. So these two options allow you to set up WordPress very, very easily. So once you set up your hosting with either Flywheel or SiteGround, it will allow you to set up your WordPress website really, really fast. Now, when it comes to WordPress out of the box, it's not very very user friendly. It's not very easy to create professional looking websites. And this is why you need a page builder. And again, there are quite a few page builders out there. There's Elementor, Beaver Builder, there's um, quite a few out there. But the one that I recommend is Divi. I've used this for uh, over seven years. Now, the reason why we're choosing a page builder here is to make sure that we can customize our website much, much easier. And also we need to brand it, make it look really nice with colors, fonts, and uh, alignments and all that good stuff. So this page builder makes it very, very easy to achieve that. Okay, so let's say you've designed your website. It's looking very professional. The next step now is to choose affiliate products that go with the niche that you've just selected. So let's say you've chosen fitness. There are supplements that you can promote. There's also gyms that you can be an affiliate of. So what you do now is, and this is where the money comes in. So once you select your affiliate programs that you partner with, this is where you create content and recommend products to your audience. So this part is what a lot of blogs miss. And this is how a lot of people are making money out there. So there are several niches out there and all these niches have different affiliate programs. So let's say like, for example, in my case, I can promote promote hosting, I can promote page builders, I can promote uh, course hosting platforms and so on because my area is how to make money online. So this is very, very powerful and this is why I recommend that you start off stage one with, create, with uh, selecting a niche. Okay, so once you've done that now, the type of content that you can create are videos, it can be audio, it can be articles. So all this will have to have an affiliate link that promotes whatever product that is in your posts. So these companies, they pay commissions either uh, by depositing the money into your bank account or via PayPal. So these are the two main payments. So for this system to really work, you're also going to need to be consistent. So when you produce your content, you, you try and find a schedule that you can work with so that uh, all your readers, all your visitors to your website are expecting that particular content at a specific time. So if you choose to, uh, let's say, produce a video every Friday, then you need to be sure that you're consistent consistent with that because this is how you get loyal fans or loyal subscribers to your website. So it's important that you really find a schedule that works for you. So if you want to do it, if you're a bit more ambitious, you could do it maybe twice or three times a week. But the more you create content, the more you're going to increase your subscriber base. So this is why it's important to create content. Now, when it also comes to contents, you know, there's uh, three types you can create. There's video, there's audio, and there's articles. So the most effective one is video 
because YouTube is the second largest search engine. So whatever videos that you create, they are likely going to rank on uh, the search result. Okay, so we've spoken about consistency. The next thing now is SEO. So these articles and these videos that you create, you need to make sure you do some serious SEO because you wanna make sure that you're creating content for keywords that are easier to rank for. Because if you choose keywords that are difficult to rank for, your videos or your articles are just going to be buried and no one's is no one is able to find them. Now, when it comes to the look of your website, you need to make sure that it's branded. It needs to look professional. You need to choose your colors, your fonts, and they all need to look very, very consistent and very professional. And this is what creates trust between you and your readers. Okay, so the next part is also very, very important and it's all about creating a mailing list. So when it comes to uh, the mailing list, I made a lot of mistakes as well. Back in the day when I created my first blog, I did not add an opt-in form on my website and therefore that was a lost opportunity. So what you wanna do is to make sure that people are signing up to maybe a freebie or something that you're giving away so that they're added onto your mailing list. So the advantages of having a mailing list is every time you produce your content, you can also email all your subscribers, letting them know that your content is out. So this is the best way to communicate with your subscribers.